probably get that off. It's not the easiest thing, but um, today I'm just going to be putting on some stickers and just cleaning up the side of it. I went fishing early this morning. That was probably hard to hear me, but um, I got these wheels from Amazon just because I broke about every other wheel set I had. I think it's just a unit. It's just too heavy for any cheap options. So um, I'm going to get stands and get this thing going. Alright, um, never actually taken this off stands by myself yet. I mean, put it on stands, sorry. So, we're going to see what I can do. We'll be back in one minute. Alright, we're just going to try this. Hopefully it works. Uh, so glad that did not fall and it is now up there okay but I think I'm just gonna go over the whole kayak because I haven't yet um I'm gonna just start by putting these stickers on it probably gonna go right here because when we do that I'm gonna go over the one right now so um, I'm actually partnering with Favorite. So I'm putting Favorite stickers on. I think right there works. We're gonna go with right there and hopefully, hopefully this is a good spot. It comes with a piece of transfer paper. Let's see how that works. That might be the one. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Bubble. Got it out. I haven't decided if I want to do one on both sides. That's pretty tight. I like that how it is. So basically just gonna get this thing right. That's pretty easy for the motor. Motor goes on pretty easy. Makes spend a couple extra bucks. And makes fishing a lot easier as well. This is the new fish finder I got. It's not new; it's used, but I gotta start somewhere. First year with the kayak, and plan to do a lot more with it. I'll just mount everything up. All right, so this is what we got. 2022 um, Old Town Autopilot. 
120. Um, for this is my second kayak. Cause the first one I had was a Tamarack. I used it like twice and then sold it. But this thing, I've been ever since I got it, and it warmed up here in New York. I've just been using it and using it. It gets used pretty good. I mean, it's still got stickers on it. Lost the sticker on this. I got to clean that up with some like goo gone or something. Um, yeah, it's a nice kayak. If if you're looking to enter tournaments with this thing and just fish, just fish without any problems, this is the way to go for sure. It's a little bit more money, but you definitely get your money's worth. This they give you a compartment here, a lot of extra storage, keep registration non-transferable so don't try and rob me um extra shear pins remote and key that i apparently didn't take out i was just driving with it there i got this fish finder it's used has gps but no maps it's um just a beginner like i said the first year i'm not going too crazy i've already spent a pretty penny on this thing um Motor drops in from here. I would do it, but I won't clear it right now because I'm on the stands. You have your seat buckle. Seat folds up. Got a battery. The battery's not included with them. So uh, I got a 100 amp battery, uh, lithium ion battery from Amazon. Just save myself a little bit more money. It unplugs there. And to get the trolling motor power, you plug it in right there. Coming back here, we have extra storage. If I can get in there. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's at least you know it's sealed. Just so if you could have put more wiring or something. It's just more wiring. I wouldn't put anything back here that you wouldn't want sliding around. back out. Sorry for the mess. I was I was just fishing so it was um just being used and I just got home and didn't have time to take care of nothing. So the fishing rider here you, this is normally like that just to hold it down while you're driving. Um so you pull that back you unclip this and then pull it back while you're in the water. Just this handle right here. You can see it flips it up and then down. And then it steers pretty easy. You could steer with your feet. Or obviously they have the remote for a second option. Or you can use both. If you use both, you get a lot better steering and all that. This is the Minn Kota iPilot. So it's got all the iPilot features and all that. I'll show the remote real quick. What about the remote? Um, this is change your speed. This is the direction of the motor. This is engage the prop and disengage. These are for like other settings. There's spot lock. This keeps you basically on point with where you want to go. There's cruise control and go to. So it has like a memory thing within, I want to say it was like a mile or something mile or two it'll remember your path and take you back to your path if you record it um i put the paddle on there just to be safe you never know when something may go wrong with the motor battery etc so yeah it's pretty much it for the kayak it's pretty hefty it's 12 foot long almost 155 pounds with everything loaded onto it so moving it around ain't the easiest and getting it in out of the truck, but I make it work. This is the cart I got on Amazon. I can't tell you exactly what brand it is, but it's pretty heavy duty. First one that hasn't broken yet, so. And I've had about five carts within the last month, so. Yeah. That's the 2022 Autopilot. If there's any questions, I can always answer more. I'll definitely be making videos. I think I'm going to add some footage for my last Kinesis trip because I haven't, um, I have not posted that yet. I only caught one fish, but I was there for about an hour. 
Today I was at the Erie Canal fishing with one of my buddies and did pretty good there. Nothing crazy though and that's pretty much it. So, I also have, I just got a favorite, these are a few of my favorite rods, I just got the new favorite 6 day, needed a new spinning combo, and I figured, why not, 7 one it's a medium fast, haven't got line on it yet, so I haven't got a chance to use it. Um, Favorite white bird on here. I got a Bandito Texas rig right now. I I have the Shimano SLX DC on there. Don't know how well you can see it, but yeah, those are my few of my favorite rods I have. All right, we're back at it again. Here, let me put up my windows. I think this video is a little bit better quality. Um, I get last time it was a little bit blurry and I'm not that big of a like not many people are watching yet but it's still it bothered me <laughs> so hopefully this video is a little bit better um we're going to Canisius today just for fun fishing me and my buddy Jack the kid with that native we were uh, fishing with at that tournament the other day um I'm going to try hopefully the GoPro is working better I charge all the batteries again um hopefully get some hook sets in there and uh get some uh good fishing content today hopefully um yeah okay well we are on Canisius I didn't really film any of the unloading I'm hoping this GoPro stays recording for a little bit um I'm gonna stop it now and I get some video of the first few casts at our first spot oh, we're on the way to now so yep I'll get back to it then all right well we're just gonna Try and take a few casts. This is first cast. And of course, I don't even know anymore. Get this motor spinning again. Good, how are you? Not yeah. I just got here not too long ago. Not yet. Hopefully oh, soon. Like yeah. Awesome yeah. Thank. Thank you. Yeah. yeah it drives itself. It <laughs> makes <laughs> makes fishing easier. <laughs> Where's the motor in the back? Or the it's right here in the front. So it's it go it drops in right through the middle of the kayak. Oh, does it? Does yeah. It right yeah. It's um a Minn Kota trolling motor. They it actually they're made for this kayak. You buy the house set up with everything? Yeah. So. I'll show you real quick. It's um, you just pull this rope and it comes up, and then it goes back down, and it just it comes off with a hook. It's just hooked in there, and it's pretty easy. The, the motor's right in, That's the motor, huh? Yeah, it moves pretty quick. It, I mean, for a kayak, it's like five miles an hour. And so, batteries in the back. Yeah, it's under the seat. Yep. What? So you you bought all that together right there? Yeah, it was probably. Uh, too much money that I should have spent, but... <laughs> no, it isn't. You're having fun. Yeah. Yeah, you're the second person that said that to me. It's, I mean, it is fun. It's, yeah, that's yeah. good fun, man. You can waste your money on a lot worse things than that. Yeah. Well, but, well, how much are those like that? This one was like 4'8", and there's one bigger than it that's 14 foot for almost like 6,000. Wow. But... Nice. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's been fun. I've had it for... You, yeah, I had to get the wheel separately, but it, there's no way to move it without the wheels. It's just so heavy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get 
is so rocky over there, but I didn't see a single freaking small mountain. It's rocky back in that little, right where I was just sitting in front of that house. Yeah. yeah. Where are you going? Like past the sailboat. I'm thinking about fishing a little bit deeper. I don't think you were right. I, I don't know. I mean, I caught that one. It was cool. Yeah. But. I haven't had a single bite, I don't think. He, yo, he's actually decent. He got me soaked, bro. Yo, chill, chill, homie. Yeah, of course I wasn't recording when I set the hook either. Ah! Ah, bro, he's pissed. He's strong. No. His mouth... Yeah. I don't think I'm going to weigh him. I mean... Not weigh him, but... Yeah. Two, three. He just pissed on my foot. He says, two, three, two, three. Two, five. Hey, I'm not complaining. First bass on Canisius. Two, five. He was up real shallow. Yeah. I'm kind of bummed I wasn't recording. Yeah. But. I'm just debating at this point if I should stay or leave because I really don't want to be up late. Alright, we're going to say it's nothing. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm going to call Jack. He'll be on my way. Uh, I don't know if this is going to get uploaded, but if it does, you know what? Hey, I got my first bass. It's going to be something at least. At least I have a title. You know? Half the time I can't even think of shit. I got to stop slurring too. So, alright. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Nice day. 70 degrees. Better than Cuba, I'd say. Not better at fishing, but definitely better at weather.